yesterday during the plenary session a very important trial was reported. The trial was an India trial, mono institutional study, um, which represents the first level one evidence of comparison of two different strategies we have in the treatment of locally advanced cervical cancer. Traditionally, locally advanced cervical cancer is treated with concurrent chemoradiation, but unfortunately, radiotherapy equipment are not so widespread as it could be necessary, and particularly in countries where a strong surgical tradition was present, an alternative strategies took place, which is the strategies of new adjuvant chemo followed by surgery. We did not have the level one evidence of direct comparison between these two strategies, but for yesterday it was presented the, the results of the first randomized trial addressing this issue. Our colleague uh, su suggested that, uh, that the statistical hypothesis of our colleague suggested that the experimental arm, new adjuvant chemo followed by surgery, could be better in terms of five year disease pre survival with respect to concurrent chemo radiation. The trial was a very big trial, but also very difficult because it enrolled 633 patients in 12 years, so a very long time period. And due to this slow accrual, the tower prematurely was concluded. The initial sample size was 730 patients. So even though this limitation, the trial reported that the experimental arm was not superior to the standard concurrent chemotherapy and radiotherapy arm, in terms of disease-free survival, while no difference in terms of overall survival were addressed between the two treatment arms. Unfortunately, toxicity still remains an issue for patients receiving concurrent chemoradiation because the, our colleagues reported that two years after the completion of treatment, one patient out of five still report grade three, four toxicity particularly in terms of vaginal toxicity, but also bladder and also rectal toxicity. This means that if we want to go home on the strategy of, of concurrent chemoradiation, which still remains the standard of care, we will do all our effort in order to reduce toxicity and ameliorating quality of life of our patients.